Hello guys, what is up? This is Galactic Elliot here, and welcome to another part of Random Wonder Trades. So I'm going to start this off with giving away some ice cream, because it's starting to get warmer now. That's right, winter is finally going to take its toll and kiss its sweet ass goodbye. Not really, it's still pretty damn cold. Um, I think tomorrow is going to be pretty damn warm, though. I mean, I was going to schedule this video up to go tomorrow, but hey... I'm um, hoping weather's going to be nice, no need to wear puffy jackets anymore, maybe for a couple of days, but it better transition that way or whatnot. And how are you guys liking your um, less than one hours of sleep? I mean, uh, daylight savings is taking its toll on me, I'm feeling freaking tired as shit. This morning was a pain in the ass to wake up to because I wake up around 6 to 6.30 every single morning and... Uh, you know, with putting the time one hour back, it looks like it was like 5 a.m. last night. It it looks like it looks like it was just pitch black outside, and it was so difficult for me to wake up. And after a while, you seem to get kind of used to it, and you seem to actually like enjoy waking up at that time more. And by the way, this is the uh, Avalog for my Wonderlock. I just have it over on here because Avalog's awesome. Yeah, someone did need it for their Pokedex, so I wanted to help him out. So. Your mask is next up on the list of going to training away. But yeah, um, how are you guys doing? Um, I like to ask this every single part. You know, I'll leave it down in the comment section. I like to know how you guys are all doing. Um, today, actually, in English class, is kind of random bringing up. I'm reading uh, the play Othello by William Shakespeare, obviously. Um, we haven't really got too much into it. We're like maybe 20 pages, 30 pages in. And my teacher in the beginning of the class randomly asks, How would you break let's say you like this let's say you like this girl or a guy and they're with someone that you don't like and you want to get with them and you want to break them up, which is like fucked up. How would you do it? And then basically he was just like asking people and then this one kid answers saying, I would either try to get the other person to hate them or I would hire a hitman and kill the person. I'm like, wait, 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 wait. Are you legit? Would you actually hire a damn hitman and try to murder the freaking guy that's dating the girl that you may like? I mean, you do get rid of them in a sense, but that's a bit freaking crazy. <laughs> no, it was hilarious. I didn't actually take it like as, uh, you know, seriously. That kid's freaking like just ridiculous and whatnot. But you know, I thought it was really random. I thought it was really funny. It Gave me quite a laugh, and I'm wondering what would you guys do in that situation? Trying to break two people up, and uh, for, you know, you know, for your own selfish wants and needs and cries and whatnot. I mean, I would never do that personally, because I'm not going to interfere with two people. You know, if the female's happy, and uh, she's with the guy, I'm not going to be like, Yo, break the fuck up right now and be with me. I'm not that type of person. If the person, if the girl's happy, you know, let her be. And, you know, hopefully one day, if you're really just that into her, they'll break up for some reason, and you can get in their pants as much as you damn please. Or they'll be happy forever and get married, and you'll just be jealous. Or you'll just move on. Hopefully you just move on, because it's never good to just, you know, be stuck in that past type of thing or whatever. It's never a good thing, and, uh, yeah, that's about it, pretty much. Um, you know, I'm going to let them do what they want. But in this situation that I would want them to break up in is if I'm really good friends with somebody and, you know, whether I want to get with them or not, the guy's a complete jackass. Or if I'm with a guy and with the girl's a complete jackass, then, you know, that's that's a situation where I try to get them to break up. I'm not to hire a damn hitman. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to hire a, a goddamn hitman to try to kill the person, whether it's a guy or a girl. That's, that's just, you want to do that any sense of morality but you know and that have in type, that type of sense i try to get them to break up not hiring a hitman and as you guys can tell i'm pretty sick right now now probably gonna feel better like soon but um interruption 10 freaking one all the time i have to get interrupted between a recording whether it's the quad up whether it's the wonder lock whether it is this i'm just ugh. It's really damn annoying, honestly. I, I try to make videos, I try to get it out there, and one way or another, it's going to get fucked up in quality. 
But as I was saying, as you guys can tell, I'm starting to be congested. Now, I've been a bit sick over the past couple of days. Not anything too crazy. I don't know why I feel so congested right now. Before I wasn't, but I think like there's something in my room that's just making me like feel like shit. Cause last night my freaking my my freaking lips got really con like just really chapped and shit and really dry and all crappy and all that stuff. Now it's feeling I'm feeling all congested. I don't know what it is, but it's in the weather. That's all I can say. It's in the weather. You guys gotta dress accordingly. Uh, today, you know, it, by tomorrow it's gonna get all warm compared to like 10 degrees and. It's not going to be a fun time, but you got to learn to dress accordingly. I mean, that's just all it is to it. Otherwise, you're going to get sick as shit. You know, you're going to get, like, you know, freaking fever. It sucks. And I really do not want to get sick because I haven't really gotten, like, a major sickness that the whole entire year. And I normally, you know, normally maybe one or two times per year I get pretty damn sick. There's one year where, like, I got, I got sick, like, a ton. Like, I got sick, like, every other week and shit. It was really bad. And this one sickness I had that lasted me about two months, it was, that was, like, in, yeah, it was seventh grade. It was terrible. My God, it was, it was completely awful. I, I, it wouldn't go away, and it was just, like, I couldn't breathe. And then two years later, I had the same exact one. It was, whew, it was just awful. <laughs> But anyways, um, we're not getting anything from Wonder Trading. My God, I, I mean, the best thing we just got was a Froakie, and I already got like a box full of them. So, oh, a Pedov. Okay. I mean, I've I've transferred them over from Poker Bank and stuff, but you don't see them Wonder Traded very often at all. Dusselger. I'm guessing that's a German uh, Pedov. That's interesting. Dusselger. Dus dis Dusselger. Ah, do not uh you know do not quote me on my German speaking and whatnot, and yeah, as you can tell, my Pokedex number did not go up because I already have one of these. Well, actually, I haven't, I'm not really too far in this game, anyways. So it's fine, I haven't registered my Pokedex. Nonetheless, goodbye, Fira. Have a nice trip down Wonder Trade Lane. I remember in Wonder Trade, in my uh, Wonderlock, I actually got traded a level 57, 58, 59, one of those levels of a Fero, and like I couldn't, I didn't really want to use it because it was so damn OP. Like my Pokemon were like in their level like 30s or something, and this person's asking for a shiny. I mean, maybe if you came after like you know this one, you would get lucky enough to get the shiny that I'm gonna give out for this episode. Since I'd like to give out a shiny at the end of every episode, if you guys do not know that, but let's see, we get a Scraggy. Which, you know, Scraggy's cool and all, but it's so common in this game. It's just like, no one gives a shit, man. Just pull up your damn pants and move to Yugoslavia. You know, it's not even there any it's not, it's not even in creation anymore, but that's how obsolete you are, Scraggy. You're just a bitch of Team Flair, and now all the Hotlum Scrafty fans are going to come after me and be like, just hating on me and shit. <laughs> No hate to Callum, though, he's my boy. But, uh, alright, time to straight away a nice old shiny. Uh, let's straight away this, no. I would never do that. I fucking love shiny green ninja. I'm never gonna give it away. And as far as shinies go, um, shinies I really, really want that I do not have. As, you know, I, I don't really like to sound greedy or whatever, but the shinies that I don't have that I would really, really want would probably be Fennekin, Trevenant, and Halucha. Those are like three six gen shinies that I really, really love. And this person's about to get a shiny Zora, so she's gonna be quite happy and probably suck my next when she lives in New York. That'd be really awkward if Marie is actually a viewer of mine and watches this. I'm sorry if you know you I've had those situations where I would talk badly about someone and they give me a Fennekin and enjoy your Zora. I'd have I'd have those situations where it was kinda awkward because they're actually a viewer of mine. But um yeah, those are like the three shinies that I do want, and it would be really cool if I would get them. I've been trying to get them for the past few days, and no luck really, but all is well. I did end up getting a shiny Malamore from the viewer Pixel, so thanks so damn much, Pixel. You're awesome, and he also gave me an Aegis Slash, which is awesome. I don't know if I, I don't know if I pronounced Aegis Slash correctly or not, but the uh, final evolution of Hone Edge. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Pixel, for giving me those Pokemon. I really love Malamore, probably my favorite six gen Pokemon, so that was really awesome. And, uh, yeah, have a nice day, and peace.